India, a $3 trillion economy about to become a $5 trillion superpower by 2030. But the question is, is India going to see boom in the pharmaceutical and biotech sector? Well, the answer to that question lies in this video. And I'm also going to specifically answer when really the regulatory affairs jobs are about to boom in India. So welcome to this video guys and today we are going to get started with some powerful ministers of the Indian government. Well, ministers are the people who actually make a statement and then finally probably one or two years later things happen, right? So ministers of Indian government or state governments are the policy makers, they are the approvers of various policy making decisions which transforms the economy. Just to give you an example, in last 24 years, India received $1 trillion in foreign direct investments. FDI. Now, out of that, around $800 billion of foreign direct investments has come in last 10 years, and that is from 2014 to 2024. Now, that means that there is a huge boost to the economy, there is a boom in the economy, but at the same time, is biotech and pharmaceutical sector also growing? When will they see a boom, and what will this implicate on various jobs in the biotech and pharmaceutical sector? Well, we will answer that, but before that, I am going to tell you a small news about a small event which happened on 22nd of November 2024 and in that the finance minister of our country Nirmala Sitaram says that India should now focus on having its own pharmaceutical standards. Now that means she also meant that India should no longer try to benchmark its pharmaceutical and biotech products against the FDA of USA. Why can't India have the Bharat FDA, the Bharat Food and Drug Administration? Well, that is the game changer, guys. Today, this is just a statement. Tomorrow, when this happens in real, it is going to have a huge boost to the jobs in the sector but one particular job will see a boom and that is the regulatory affairs job so we will today talk not just about regulatory affairs we'll talk about other jobs also but of course if bharat comes up with the fda like agency we are going to see a huge boom in regulatory affairs job compliance officer jobs so we will dive deeper into this now so okay the minister has made a statement that india should now focus on its own pharmaceutical standards and the reason she said that is because there are so many things unique to india which we have done and doesn't exist anywhere. Let's say, for example, the UPI. Today, you just take your phone, scan a QR code and make a payment. It doesn't exist anywhere, but this is one of the big boosters of domestic economy moving very fast. You don't need cash, you don't need change. In fact, I don't remember when, when was the last time I went to ATM, right? We do a UPI. So that's where there are many things unique to India. For example, the quick commerce in the big cities nowadays, you need a grocery in six minutes. In fact, in three minutes, Blinkit is delivering, Zepto is delivering, now Big Basket is delivering. In three minutes, six minutes, we are getting groceries, right? So imagine what India can do or Indians can do if we can achieve this kind of a situation where India is having its own Bharat FDA. So let's talk about what will be the impact. So Coming to the regulatory affairs job, we are going to see more of compliance officers. We will see more demand for regulatory scientists because Bharat FDA will have different rules. And since Bharat FDA is planning to have a benchmark against the top FDA of the United States of America, and maybe it can be stringent rules, more than that so obviously we will see more regulatory scientists we will see more demand for quality auditors we will see more demand for dossier preparation specialist and this increased demand for professionals to handle the regulatory documentation testing standards and approval processes specific to the new indian fda guidelines will demand more among you more of you to learn regulatory affairs and implement regulatory affairs. So the reason companies will have to comply to this is because they exist in India. This is the India specific regulation. There is an increase in the regulatory submissions now. You don't have to go for only FDA submissions, but you have to go for Indian FDA submissions. So what we're going to see is this will not just be another challenge for the pharmaceutical and biotech sector, but this will spur a big demand or a boost for regulatory affairs jobs but it's not just the regulatory affairs we will see boom in more of clinical research and clinical trials officers also what will happen now is right now there is no much regulation in the clinical research domain any hospital just signs up and any cro starts but we will see more compliance in the clinical research if india fda comes into picture we will see more demand for clinical trial coordinators right now they're just having one coordinator for multiple hospitals there'll be more demand there'll be more demand for biostatisticians there'll be more demand for cro managers there'll 
be more demand for clinical data analyst and this will happen because there will be expansion of clinical trials within India this will create more jobs for researchers more jobs for medical writers more jobs for trial monitoring officials also and this new agency the FDA Bharat FDA would streamline clinical trial approvals attracting local and international biotech companies to conduct studies in India because we are more compliant there is more regulation and we are doing it in a better way compared to the rest of the world like I said there are many things unique to India and once Bharat FDA comes into picture this is going to be the USP of India more pharmaceutical and biotech companies will invest in India because there is more regulatory compliance environment and there is a big pool of talent also now coming to the QA QC jobs that also will see a huge boost we will see new roles of QA, QC inspectors, laboratory technicians and testing specialists. We will see this kind of jobs will start growing in multiple facilities because there will be more stress to follow good manufacturing practices. Right now, FDA has to plan an audit and they have to come and the moment they are coming, people, uh, they plan things up. But when there is an Indian agency already, so companies will have to comply more there will be more demand for food safety checks there will be more demand for biotech product quality assessments and this will create more jobs for the QA QC professionals also and this will happen because Bharat FDA will implement stricter product safety and standards set by the new agency so that is where QA QC jobs gets a boost moving forward now research and development also will see more demand for biomedical compliance officers and researchers bioengineers and pharmaceutical scientists there will be increased investment in R&D to fuel the opportunities for innovation in biotech products like drugs vaccines and medical devices and that will happen because regulatory support will be more approvals will be faster and that will encourage companies to bring in new products to the market so again there also we are going to see a boom because there is more demand so more talent will be available which will be GMP certified workers production specialists and process engineers and that is going to create more jobs for the biotech manufacturing facilities also so basically we are looking at huge boom in the regulatory affairs clinical research data management so that's one more point I would like to make data management is also going to be a big challenge for the industry so we'll see more demand for clinical data managers AI ML specialists, bioinformatics experts and jobs will grow because there will be demand for maintaining electronic health records, bioinformatics analysis and AI based clinical trials platforms. So new agencies such as Bharat FDA is the need of the hour and I welcome this move but at the same time I believe that it should not succumb the company's growth instead it should be friendly and the guidelines should be clear. If that happens more jobs are getting going to get created the industries are going to be more compliant and we are going to see more newer better products coming in and we don't have to bother about us fda the bharat fda will take care of everything so the benefit will be in the pharmaceutical sector because drug approvals r d and manufacturing will be faster agricultural biotech will see more regulation and faster approvals for genetically modified crops food safety again fssi rise right now suffering from manpower problem even that will be taken care of because enhanced regulation of functional foods and nutraceuticals and smart proteins and all of that will happen medical devices you know right now we are completely reliant on us fda that will go away we will have more jobs here in india for job biomedical designing testing production of biomedical products and medical devices diagnostics also right now there is no much regulation the growth in clinical labs and biomark validation lab will happen if the bharat fda comes into picture so overall it all looks very rosy and green the job creation will surge in the short term in the long term there will be more r d happening and that will contribute at least i am positive that the Indian biotech and pharmaceutical sector is going to boom thanks to this new policy if it is coming up. Now for all of you because you are always looking at jobs which you can get. So regulatory affairs jobs, clinical research, clinical data management, bioinformatics, AIML, these kind of jobs are going to boom. But at the same time, remember you have to keep an eye on the industry. This is one such trend which, is, which can happen. Now keep our fingers crossed but at the same time, Keep subscribing to Biotechnica, keep watching our videos because we will make you aware of any such future trends and anything which is about to come so that you are well aware and you can take actions in the right time. Because I believe if you have the right information, then only you can choose the right career path and then only you can earn a lot of money because all the things which you do today has a huge impact on the future. This information which I shared with you 
can have a huge impact on your career if you act today. So if you have interest in regulatory affairs, you can go there. If you have interest in clinical data management, you can go there. If you have interest in bioinformatics, AI ML, you can go there. If you have interest in epidemiology, you can go there because all these jobs are about to boom because of Bharat FDA. So right now, this is just a statement. In the future, this is going to be a real agency. And what are your thoughts on this news? Please comment below. And uh, let's hope that regulatory affairs jobs also booms in India, just like how AIML, bioinformatics and CDM jobs are booming. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Take care. Bye-bye.